Alrighty, welcome back indeed to our Path of Exile walkthrough playthrough. So I did a few things off of the uh, play session, but I will mention everything that I did. It's just basically trading. A lot of times when you trade, I'm going to show you the chat so you guys know exactly what I was talking about. Um, so I whispered a lot of people, a lot of times when you trade with people, people just don't respond for whatever reason. Like I had to whisper like this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. It, it takes a long time, but I'll explain exactly what I did. You can see the chat and I'll show you guys that like I'm not making any of this up. Uh, but it is important to learn. Now, again, trading is technically optional, but I will highly recommend you guys to do it. So I got a few different items, and I'll show you guys uh, the uh, website where I purchased them at. Um, again, this is all in-game currency. It's not like any real-life microtransactions. So we got a few different items. So I've got uh, Tessalio's Sign, which is a ring that grants us extra cold damage to spells and attacks. It costed us one Chaos Orb, and I'll get into the conversion rate in a second. I just got one Chaos Orb. Uh, by selling eight of our alterations for it. And then I got some orbs of alchemy by trading the fusings. I traded uh, some fusings to get a alchemy. And uh, this is how I purchased the amulet that I have. And then I also had one more alchemy and I bought Nomex Storm. None of these are required in order for you to play. So if you didn't get any currency or you don't want to get these, Feel free to go ahead and you know skip out on it but i've already showed you guys how to trade it's just that sometimes trading takes a while like you have to wait three four minutes for the person who'll be like i'm doing this give me a second and it just takes a long time so a lot of times i will mention what i'm trading for but in order to get some of the currency um in i believe it was like part two i showed you guys how to trade now you guys can visit whatever website you want to use for trading i like poe.trade but there's lots of other websites so in order to get some of these currencies, maybe you don't have these orbs of alchemy, right? Maybe you don't have uh, the chaos orbs. Usually it's like chaos orb is really, really easy to get um, for people to trade whatever for like a chaos orb or like 50 chaos orbs or whatever. It's like a kind of a golden standard like in like the uh, currency. But if you don't have a chaos orb, you would go to the website, um, poe.trade and you click on where it says currency uh, market, or you could just go to currency.poe.trade and you select that you want a Chaos Orb, and then like you go, well, what, what do you have? Well, you can go to Orbs of Alteration. You guys probably have a bunch of these. You can click Search, and all you gotta do is the same thing. You would whisper the guy. So you go to Orbs of Alteration, or if you uh, have a different form of currency, maybe you have a bunch of alchemies. I don't know what you have, but depending on what you have, um, this, could be, this could be another thing that you have. You could have the Gem Cutter Prisms, and that's the ratio. Sometimes it'll be more, sometimes it will be less, depending on your currency. So whatever you have tons of and you might not want to use, or chromatics, remember I told you guys to pick those up? This is another way that you can trade. It looks like it's about 1 to 17, 18. That's how you get one Chaos Orb. And if you um, want to see the conversion for like other things you can do, let's say like I was doing uh, Fusers to Orbs of Alchemy as well, and it was, uh, you can see the difference in ratio if I like I want, let's say, Orb of Alchemy, and I have this, you can see the difference. That one was a one-to-one -one ratio, but the other way around, it's like three-to-one or two-to-one. So all of this you have to factor in as, uh, you know, it, if you want to be able to buy stuff, you have to know kind of like some of the conversion rates, and that's a really good way for you guys to learn. Now, the items that I bought, I'm going to go ahead and now explain what each one of them does as, um, you know, it's kind of important. So what our ring does is it just grants us extra cold damage nothing too special with that um it adds cold damage to attacks and then also a set amount of cold damage against chilled enemies so that after we hit them once since the frozen orb or i have winter will hit multiple times they're already gonna be chilled so it's easy that's what this item does our next item that we got is ungol's harmony so it's a uh amulet and we're replacing this amulet so what this does is grants us extra crit chance but we can't do crit damage it's an insane amount in this game a hundred percent crit on an item is not a hundred percent crit it's a hundred percent of what of the base item is so for example if our weapon over here has six percent it's a hundred if it was to grant a hundred percent of six percent that's six percent so that would be the easiest way i can kind of give you guys an idea on how crit strike chance works in path of exile so we don't do crit damage, but we have increased critical strike chance. What that allows us to do is get a uh, node that I'll show you. It's a keystone uh, notable in a moment here. But I also want to have, I'm gonna have to unequip this, equip this, then I can put the gem in, which is Arctic Armor. 
these boots over here, they just give us move speed, movement speed. That's all it does. It gives us an insane amount of movement speed. It's 40% um, uh, as opposed to per currently we were running 15%. Uh, um, these boots uh, also have a really down, a bad downside. It's uh, increased damage taken while on full energy shield, uh, but we also move faster on full energy shield. Then we have the swap of one of the skills. So in controlled destruction, which I was running before in our uh, build with the uh, uh, Eye of Winter, I went back into the library, which was, um, I'll mention it really quick because this is important. I got to show you guys this. So it's the exact same guy that has like all the gems that uh, we did the little secret, like where we had to pull the candle. We Maybe go purchase two, I purchased two gems from him. So. I got rid of the control destruction. I took that out. I'm putting faster casting. Why? Because this grants us less crit strike chance. We're going to increase our crit right now just specifically for a keystone, which I'll get into in a moment. Then I'm going to put minion life support inside whatever is linked to my um, summon reaper. Uh, this is kind of optional too. Again, all these are optional, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing so you won't be left out in the dark. Now, because I swapped amulets, um, or actually, I think it was either the amulet or ring. I didn't have enough requirements to run my uh, steel skin. So what I will also try to do, let's see if I have the thing required for it. Uh, I will also rebuy a steel skin and it's okay to do this sometimes. It just, it's just, as you progress in the game, you, sometimes you're going to need a lower level of the gem as the higher level will require too much strength. I had some strength somewhere else. And uh, since I swapped out of it, was it the boots? Something gave me strength. It might've been the ring. Uh, something gave me strength. And uh, this is 12 to all attributes. Probably was this one. So that uh, is going to affect me as well. Though actually this one might be better. Um, in terms of stats, let's see. So 370 damage. This one just grants us 5% cast speed. So I really wanted it. But this is actually probably gonna be a little bit better. Grants us some extra resistance. And the all attributes is quite nice. So, uh, I removed control destruction and through fast casting so I can get crit. And the reason why I actually want crit now, even though we're not gonna get crit damage, we're gonna get crit chance. I'm gonna put my skill points into elemental overload. So what this does is it makes it so we get 40% more elemental damage if we've dealt a crit in the past eight seconds. Our critical strikes do not deal extra damage. So that's fine because our our, our crits won't do any damage anyways because Ungo's Harmony doesn't allow us to do more damage with crits. Eventually we will get crit damage, but for now, that's what I wanted to do. When and that's what I'm going to uh, put my points into. And now our Reaper will be a little bit more tanky. I just want him just kind of, cause he's cool, to be honest. Uh, it's a new skill and like, I like seeing how the new skills interact. But uh, just that one ring alone, uh, it's going to significantly increase our damage. So our damage went from 334 to 370, but that number doesn't actually show perfectly. Remember, we get another 40 to 60 damage against chilled enemies. So that's gonna be even more damage. Plus we have extra evasion. So uh, if I go to the defensive category, our estimated um, evasion rating is, well, our evasion rating is 49. We have a 28%. We go from nine to 28% chance to just evade attacks. I know my face is kind of blocking it, but it, that's all it does is you just take no damage. So we're now starting to scale and become a little bit stronger. I guess we can increase Herald of Ice level. Uh, as we have increased our dexterity. But now let's go ahead and continue and do uh, act um, four. So you'll see, we can't go over here. We're going to talk to some of the people and then we're gonna have to go downward. And uh, yeah, we'll continue. There's a bunch of people to talk to. But now with this extra movement speed, it just makes it feel nicer. Again, if you couldn't afford any of these items or you're like, I don't wanna trade, don't worry about it. Keep ending up these such lovely places. So this is 34, we're 36. And our steel skin's gonna level up, because remember it's a level one steel skin now. And bam, it's leveled up again, I guess. Things will start leveling up really fast. Oops, clumsy me. Um, because you know you're leveling up from level one. And it requires less XP at lower levels, and we're getting way more XP. So this is kinda nice. So I think we're, we're doing okay on the mana department right now. As long as we're like spamming it, we'll be totally A-OK. -okay. And then once we get to uh, like 52, we're gonna be able to get one of the best uh, stabs in the game. It's gonna increase our DPS like crazy. Okay, so increased XP. I'm gonna actually do this one. 
right. more XP as well. Okay. Okay, let's start it up. Oh, if you hit Z as in, like, Zebra, you can see, like, where the chests are and stuff. I should probably mention that a long time ago, but there's a lot of stuff to mention in PoE. So yeah, with the faster casting, we are technically hitting for less damage, but there wasn't anything else that I really liked, and I kind of wanted some extra fast casting since I removed some fast casting on my uh, ring. And that one's also going to level up, so it's going to get way better as well. But remember, the faster you cast, the more mana that's going to use as well. If I had a 3 blue uh, red, I would use um, Inspiration. But, you know, that's the, that's the gem that I'm currently still leveling up. And I want to use it. Uh, when I happen to get the correct colors. So we have to kill this guy. So, uh, our objective. Yeah, once we get that, um, right now the, the crit doesn't really matter. But once we get that, you'll see when we activate it, I'll show you the damage. Like how much it increases. It's a nice amount. Big chunk. So, um, I mean, I could, I could, I got 36 of these. I'm just going to use this, go back into a town. And uh, we use this banner to progress. Now we go to the mines. Okay, so for the Trials of Ascendancy, I actually have my notes. Uh, let me go pop them up real quick. Where the heck did that? Okay. So for the Trials of Ascendancy in this area, because we've actually already done the ones required, but this is in... Okay, so we're actually good in this one. Uh, actually, we're going to do the uh, passive skills. And uh, I will also link down below, in case any of you guys missed this out, you can't type it in right now. Um, let me do this. Uh... Okay, so if you guys miss out on any of the quests, when you complete the game, you can do slash passives, and it'll tell you uh, which quests that you have completed, and if it says, like, zero from whatever, it will uh, mention that. So it's an easier way for you to figure out if you've completed the quest or not, but you can also just go to the Path of Exile website, which I will also link. Uh, uh, passive, I think it's, is it passive skill? I think you type in passive skill and then it'll tell you exactly which quests. Okay, so in our act right now, which is act four, it's Indomitable Spirit, which is in this area. And then there's also, um, we'll work on doing the uh, trial after we can get golems because without the golem, there's kind of very little incentive. And we can also get a um, granite flask and the granite flask will actually give us a huge amount of survivability for physical uh, damage. Yeah. Golems are OP. Um, I mean, they used to be a lot stronger, to be honest. But even with the nerfs, they are absolutely amazing. So in one more skill point, we're going to get this, and we're going to get a huge DPS buff. Sounds good. Does it work? Take it down. I believe it's in the, uh, the mines level two. And click on all these little, like, um, they look kind of like piles of gold dust. That's for a uh, mechanic called Delve. You're alive. Oh, it didn't even give us a chance to really attack it at all. I'm gonna wait real fast. Where's the uh, explosion? There we go. I need more mana. All right, so it looks like we're still kind of having some mana issues if we're spamming, but that's also because we have faster casting now. Eventually, we'll get that to inspiration, and it'll be much smoother. Get that 
guy down. And we're ready to go. Another tip is if you have two of the same flask, you can spend them like kind of at the same time. So this is the, the quest that we actually need to complete. Oh, I have Winter leveled up. Nice. Oh, yeah, our damage is absolutely awesome. As you can see. I don't even need to activate anything else. This is with faster casting, which doesn't actually... I'm just casting one and then moving. And that's why I like the cast speed and value it so much. I would like to get another Tessalio sign. If you can afford two of those rings, um, I, would rec I could definitely recommend it. But yeah, that trading took me like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So like, if you whisper people and they just don't respond, don't worry, whisper whisper to someone else, it's no big deal. And if they come back and you already bought one, you can just say, oh, I already bought one, thank you though. Like, just so that they don't whisper you again. But people understand generally if you don't respond, like they understand. Okay, look at all these gems leveling up. It's just awesome. Now, now do you see how the game gets a lot faster and we're, we're just starting to zoom? Feels great. Look at him, he's frozen. He's not going anywhere. Does it work? And we haven't even gotten the elemental overload yet. That's a big DPS boost. And then we're gonna get a huge DPS boost uh, when we have all of our golems. Here's how you can get some of the hideouts, by the way. Um, I didn't really mention how to get one. So all you gotta do is clear out the area. It only takes like uh, about a minute. It's usually like a smaller area. And then you'll be able to add this uh, hideout to your list. Oh, there's like one more enemies hiding. There we go. Oh, is there one more? I might, I don't know if I already have this one. I might already have this one, but usually it'll say like hideout unlocked and it'll get a little like achievement or something. It's uh, that's how you get a hideout. And you can customize your hideout. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in the game. There are also like microtransactions that you can buy for like additional like furniture, but like it doesn't actually affect gameplay. So don't worry about that. When I'm ready and not I just love it when the things are frozen. Because they don't move. <laughs> and it's just like it's so free. I can grab that jeweler's orb. That's the thing that changes them out of sockets. Still, I, I forgot, I'm still running added lightning damage, which I should be the cold one, but I just, I don't have it yet. And that's okay. I mean, my damage is still really nice. If it was cold, we'd be getting a huge damage buff. Ooh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you um, what the difference is. So our damage right now, you can see it's 513. Oh, I gotta make sure we don't have, okay, any other buffs. So it's 513, I put this in, and when it activates, watch how much extra damage we get. It's just the number at the very top. Another one for you. I'm just gonna skip out on it. Once that pops, seven, eighteen, nine. Well, one of them is because also because of our arcane surge. Like we've almost doubled our DPS by just getting that, and that's n not even counting crit because we can't actually do crit damage. So it's very nice. So yeah, we'll just go and continue on. Uh, I believe, yeah. Okay, here we go. There's the waypoint. And so we have two different paths to go on to. We'll talk to bye Dahlia. Bye. It doesn't matter which one you do first. You can do Kaom or the, the one on the right, which is going to be Duresso's stream. And let's so continue. So as long as we hit a crit like. for eight seconds, I, I believe it is, you get um, that huge damage buff. And that is this one, Elemental Overload. I love getting it in the very beginning because, like, in the very beginning, you don't have that much crit. Uh, multiplier. And we'll get way more crit and crit multi later, but right now, it, the value that you get out of that is just way too good to say no. In fact, I would say most people get that um, if they're playing anything with elemental. Just deleting that content. 
I, I, I love how the orb feels to it. It really does feel good. But it's going to get even more insane when we get this thing called Hydrosphere, which makes it so the projectiles come back. It's only for really bosses, where because like I'm just gonna spam in like two, two or two or three of these, probably eliminate most enemies. Like let's see how many how many this takes. Yeah, like two or three. I'm also having faster casts as well. Two, three, four. Yeah. Like for some people, they like doing builds where it's like you you cast the curse on the enemy, then you cast a debuff, then you hit really big. And with this, I think I don't even need to. Like I can just spam the ability. It's my lucky day. All right, let's see. Let's see what this one is gonna have for us. And our Reaper died again, unfortunately. Mana. Maybe we can get like one or two more mana nodes. Not today. Oh, this is a boss? Uh, oh, that was her health. Yes. Oh, yeah. Still got two more chests. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Uh, I'm probably going to reroll. There's nothing here. I wish that you got at least one reroll every single time. Like right now, there's really not an upgrade for me other than jewelry, um, and it wouldn't even be that good of an upgrade because I plan Maybe to get I'll another another Tessalios. Uh, yeah, really nothing. Uh, maybe the, uh, we don't can't even get the jewel. Okay. Um. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, didn't roll. We can use a scour orb on it and then maybe throw an essence on it. Let's see this one for jewelry. Cold damage to attacks, but it's not to spells. That's what we want. So unfortunately, that one probably won't be too great. But let's keep Good moving. Luck. And we should be getting uh, anger relatively soon. Or um, it's, it's, I think it's hatred actually. And that will get, get grant us extra damage as well. And we can drop whatever one actually adds more damage. I haven't actually seen because today's like the first day of like the actual game with the newest uh, changes. I'll check out what the damage difference is. And also, since this also grants us crit, um, and we just we're running it for the more damage that it adds for Zilatri. All right, Kalem Stronghold. So, what do we have for uh, fire res? Okay, 51. Yeah. Our lightning resistance is the only bad one. The thing with lightning in the game is a lot of times when you die to lightning, it's because lightning has a very far range. Like, for example, you'll get hit from like one to, let's say, 5,000. Whereas like fire would be like, you get hit for 2,000. Like, this is just numbers I'm making up on certain like boss mechanics or something. It's just, if you get that high number lightning damage, you're it's a rip. But we'll get max to all resistances. It's not that difficult. Chaos resistance is a little bit more difficult to get, especially early on, you usually don't even bother with it. This is more something like after you complete the game and you're doing end game content that you'll have to worry about. Oh, our Reaper died again. No, he's a little bit weak. I know I haven't been scaling like, minion stuff, but I still feel like he's dying way too often. It's so, like even without these skill points, like we can we can put our skill point later. I think I might want to check out some of the extra mana nodes because I didn't want to make a build guide and have it like not work. So I'm kind of just going off what I think is kind of necessary. But I will make like a, a like a uh, like a best like or more optimized one when I kind of test out more things because I think we might need one one more set of mana uh, nodes. Because more mana is actually more HP too. 
Uh, there's actually one where you can get more damage based on mana too. Which I'll, I'll look into once we get to the boss. Oh, something hit me for a good amount of damage there. It deleted our... Oh, also if it says hex proof, that means you can't put hexes on it. And this is going to be a debuff. Alright, so let's see what the mana one is. There's a few other ones where it's like with, uh, when you get block. Okay, so I think it's this where you get, um, so this is what I want to go for. Actually, it's just block. Oh, it doesn't even require you to have staff? Uh, increased mana regen per block spell damage. Oh, okay. Um... 2% up to 40%. We're not going to probably get that much mana, but this one also increases spell damage. So I'm probably not going to go this route. But we do, I think, need a little bit more mana. Yeah, I'm probably going to grab the... The chance to block spells is good too. And... Per uh, 1% block. It's not too bad. I'll consider it. Like I said, I just want to get... Uh, this is mana regen, right? I kind of want to grab and get more damage. Oh, this is this is there's multiple spell damage. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna probably end up grabbing most of these because I I don't like dealing with a mana potion. I want all my uh, potions to be utility, mostly like increasing damage. Oh, look at that damage! That's still super respectable. Yeah. The, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to show you his his boss fight mechanic because we melted him too much, but he will go into the fire and he will like jump out and it looks awesome. But like I'm not gonna ruin the opportunity to test out my DPS on that guy. And well, he uh, he didn't make the cut. Wait, I thought that they gave you a they don't give you a portal to go right back. Okay. So now that he's dead, we go back and we do the other side. I, w I was really honestly impressed with the damage. That's actually faster than my last league. And I thought my last league build was really good too. <laughs> yeah, more mana is more damage and more defensive stats. And there are items you can scale your start scaling your mana to go like insanely high. Obviously, it has a max. It's up to 40%, but, like, hey, that's a huge amount. 40% is, uh, like, a couple, like, uh, skill points. I actually really like the hybrid flasks. Oh, additional unique item. Oh, I want this. Hold on. Okay, so how does this work? Can I just put this one right here? Oh, no. It only lets me go out up to here. I still don't really understand how this mechanic fully works, but it looks like it has to be in some way connected to something. That's all of them. There's like not even that many monsters here. I need more mana. Stay safe. So in some narrow areas, what I'm noticing is like the orb might be not be able to hit because it can't like expand, if that makes any sense. So like this build could be kind of maybe a little bit more difficult in more tight and closed areas. Unless you get like, you can get pierce, fork, and chain to kind of help out with um, like collision or too many units stacked up. But it's okay. I, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. There's very few maps where, like, you can really benefit off of things bouncing off of the walls. The Reaper guy looks so cool. But yeah, since he, like, consumes, like, your own minions and stuff, I just don't know how he's gonna work with the golems. I'll, I'll sadly probably have to drop him. But he's not very good anyways, because we're not scaling. 
um, him at the end of the day. If we did, he probably would be okay. When I'm ready and not before. Sounds good. Does All right, it work? There we go. Another silver coin. Yeah. Okay, look, he's frozen. He got frozen twice. I don't even know if he got to really even attack right there. It's another one of those chromatic orbs. Ooh, that guy popped. Strength and int. Dex and int. Let's grab these. So some of these items, when they're in this green text, you can sell it for um, alterations. Which is a nice smaller form of currency, and you can exchange them for like a chaos orb or al orbs of alchemy. Oh, weapon racks, by the way, are kind of like a chest, but it's obviously gonna have a weapon that drops. So, like, you can see the things that drop. I just have a, a mod, or it's a it's called a loot filter. So some of the things, even if I click on a chest, I don't think that a chest can drop nothing. It's just that sometimes. They just won't even show up. Oh, that thing melted in like one hit. Let's see how fast this yellow melts this one orb. Oh. He melts it pretty fast. This is, oh uh, yeah, we'll get the more spell damage. But I might as well get grant that. That's, it's only one note away and it's it's damage and it's technically survivability. I think it, it could be worth it. I do want to get a decent amount of block trance. That's uh, one defensive area that we will definitely scale up. Because our damage is through the roof right now. <laughs> I'm still running, I forgot, I'm still running the added lightning damage. We honestly should have swapped out of that a long time ago, but I haven't yet. And we're going to buy a corrupted body armor um, eventually that will have the exact colors that I need. Hello, Darkness. How you doing, mate? Are you enjoying this league if you are playing? So I know a lot of people are skipping out on this league just because they're upset about the nerfs. And, like, I get it. Like, it's not very exciting to hop into it being like, hey, this is my favorite thing to play, and now I cannot play it, or it's, like, significantly nerfed. But I think that... Every build is playable in the game. Unless you want to do something really dumb, like a, a normal attack build, which you can do. Is it smart to do? Absolutely not, but you know, you're, if you're dedicated enough, you can get anything done in this game. That's why I like it so much. Ooh, that's really nice. That's a four. Do I have an essence? Let's tag it up with an essence, see if we get something good off of it. Reduce attribute, 71 energy shield. That's more than what we got. This one also adds life, mana, and avoid cold damage. How much life? 38? Oh, it's, it's a 71 energy shield. 22 mana. It's like so close. It's like a good other item to give someone. If someone in my chat would like it, you're welcome to have it. <coughs> it's a nice little light thing to have for sure. Well, insane damage, man. Insane damage. Yeah. For honor. So, oh, I probably should mention the boss mechanics. Don't stand in the little, like, tornado of swords. That's, like, the only thing you need to watch out. And when he's doing that, you can't do any damage, you can see. But yeah, that's all you gotta do with him. Oh. Uh, okay. I winter's about to level up again. Awesome, awesome. And we can also talk to Tsutsuni to um, grab a. Yes. 
but, uh, skill point quest, because I completed it, but I didn't, like, go over to it. Um, uh, I don't need this anymore. I don't really care about the vault blade vortex. Oh, does it actually keep the... It doesn't even show the gem up in there. Okay. So, the items that I mentioned before that will grab us uh, alteration shards, that will be uh, really nice to have. It's just early on. This is actually not bad, too. 27 to the increased uh, elemental damage, and you get that extra life. It's And then it actually grants you extra intelligence, so it's good for, like, leveling. Um, now, these are jewels. I should probably go for the jewel mechanic. Um... Uh, let's see. Just in case any of you guys picked them up and you wanted to use them. Uh, so yeah, we want we want to keep this one. I guess we can get rid of. Okay. See ya. So what a jewel is, you have to get a socket for it. So what a jewel socket would be would be right here. So I'd have to put two points in, and then we could put this in right there, and it'll grant us whatever stats it gives us. It will go. We can't really benefit from this one, so we'll skip out on that. Um, there are, like, almost every build will have a jewel that has, cannot have corrupted blood inflicted on, but there, there's a few jewels that you'll need, you'll need, like, in the end game, you'll definitely want a Watcher's Eye, and, like, something that makes it so corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on you. So, we give her the two, uh, like, uh, Kinder Surprise Eggs Hatchimals, and she's gonna open up the Belly of the Beast. Oh, wait, we need to talk to Satsuni. Uh... You know what? We're right here. I'm going to uh, just use this. It's gonna save time for him. Even though I, I could log out, log back in. Hey, same thing. But what we're gonna get now is the uh, skill point quest. Of course. Okay. Of course. Of course. Okay. And let's also throw these items back into the stash. I don't need them right now. I'll clean up my inventory eventually. I think we're using five, right? Five is my, like, dump tab, which I just dump everything in real quick. Uh, and we are ready to go. Okay, control destruction can still be used. All right, so now we have the extra skill point. Um, what's our mana regen? Let's see. On... Uh, is it Misc. So we have uh, Leech. That was under. I want to see how much it actually adds. Mana regenerated per second. Okay. So right now we have 32.5. Oh, you guys can see it too. Perfect. 32.5. We put this in. 36. So it, it starts to add up. And remember. That's per 1% chance to block spell damage. We don't really have that much scaled right now, and that's going to start increasing as time goes by. So certain nodes in Path of Exile will, will start scaling. They'll get more and more powerful as and time goes on. And because you're gonna, we're going to get more block. Oh, does this one count like a unique? Does this one guarantee unique? It looks like it is. Uh, the orange chests usually are those. Alright, let's try this. Oh, these guys are hitting hard. Ooh. Something's doing a lot of damage. Maybe we scaled that one up too high. There will be a point where you're starting to scale things too high, usually. And the game has gotten harder already with this most recent patch, so. Like I said, if you've died at this point a few times, don't worry. What matters is you're still continuing to play, because some people will give up on this game if they die, and like, I, I, don't, I don't get that. Alright, uh, there's nothing here that I want. Uh, Mana gain on kill. I'm looking for stuff for my other characters as well. Yeah, there's definitely nothing here for us. But we're still getting more of that currency, so later down the line, when we actually do spend, we can be a big spender, get a lot of things. We'll ascend. Let's see what we get. About 40 minutes. Yeah, we can probably do the trial of ascendancy as well. We're almost at the end of this, but we're not going to get the gold until pretty much the very end, which is going to be our new pet buddy. 
and he's gonna do us wonders. We're also gonna need to get ourselves a granite flask. Uh, what's our like physical damage reduction? Oh. As you progress, by the way, your like stats will get worse and worse because um, if you're not upgrading your armor and I'm getting like higher level monsters, you know the damage reduction that I had gotten before, it's scaling to the level of the monsters. Or my level, essentially, usually what the stat sheet will use. So, like, right now the monsters are level 38, we're 40. We're still kind of uh, considered, like, a little bit too level. Uh, jewelry item. Rare armor. I mean, most of these are kind of weak. Um, I need, like, currency items. If there was one that said, like... Uh, guarantees currency items. Heck, I'd be all about that. Now we're bleeding, and if you move fast while bleeding, remember, you will be taking more damage. Minion just feels like he's a little bit slower, too. But at least I don't have to resummon him every few seconds like the skeletons do. Yeah, these things are kind of like a little good DPS check, the little, like, goblins. They're actually like ghosts, but this the idea is like kind of a loot goblin in Diablo. Oh, I think this, this one removes bleeding. Okay, good. Bleeding is a form of physical damage, so I don't got that great of physical damage reduction. In fact, a lot of times that you'll die in Path of Exile is from physical damage. Usually because it's really easy to get, like, your elemental resistances up. Because if you have, like, 75%, then that's 75%. But with the physical damage reduction, you just have to get a lot of armor, like, it's not like a percent, if that makes any sense. So it's much easier to be immune, or not completely immune, but to take a lot less in one category of, like, elemental. Alright, now we in the- oh, Bowels of the Beast. Be happy for me, Here we go, we're gonna collect some organs. Now this one's important, she has a beam that she shoots out. And when she's shooting that beam, this beam right here, yeah, do not be in it. Just move the whole time. You want to be behind her. It hits hard. And don't stand in the circles that are like the giant little swirls. We're melting everything now. You can see like how strong they made the bosses. So I want to say they might have scaled this up as well. Let me talk to her. Come on, there we go. Now we gotta get the organs. And we get the golem after completing this. Yeah, we definitely get the uh, other thing done here. 40? Okay, nice. Remember, once we hit 52, uh, I'm gonna tr dump all my money into getting this one staff. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford it. It should be pretty cheap. It's like maybe three chaos at most. I'm gonna double check because certain leagues, sometimes items will quadruple 10 times the price because everyone wants it in the very beginning or some streamer is playing the build and uh, it will influence the price for sure. Come on. What are these? Stack deck, increased XP, pack size. The stack decks aren't bad sometimes. I like to actually, like, see what I get with them. I've gotten pretty lucky with them. Oh, we're actually bleeding too. I need more mana. Alright, 
Where's those, where's those cards? We didn't get any? I feel like it's weird. Need something? Uh, a lot of times you just got unlucky. Um, I can't afford any of those. I'm just gonna re-roll. What else do I have? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, if I want to, I can move my gems here, and if this like rolls really insane, right? Unfortunately, did not roll really insane. <clears throat> so, so with this, I don't know if we have to talk to her first. I'm actually gonna just find out. Okay, you can just go fight. Cool. So you have to fight three of these bosses. And each one of them will drop an organ. Not like the musical instrument, but like a body part. See, that piety fight was insanely difficult, but anyways, more mana, more damage. Still loving up that inspiration because I still want to use it, but we need a we need a red socket. We are doing great in the damage department. the remaining organs. There's two more. So hers, you want to watch out for these books. That's her mechanic. Ooh. We are pretty close to dying. It's probably our boots fall. <laughs> Still zero deaths. And we go to Dodri's arena. So this is a Venn diagram or Venn diagraph. It's a thing where like Okay, so each one of these has a different negative debuff. You're always going to be in one, at least. If you stand in the middle, you'll be debuffed by all of them. Pick the one, like there's temporal change, so this one makes you move slower. That's the purple one. I should probably explain this. Enfeeble makes you deal less damage and have less accuracy. The red one makes it so you take more physical damage. I usually just stay in the red one. And just hope that I dodge the abilities. Because I don't like moving slow. I don't like doing less damage. I'll just take more damage. But yeah, we definitely need some physical damage reduction. Um, and it's probably going to be in the form of my armor. I'm going to get a new... Uh, some new armor. Solaris... Um, Lycros is probably what I'm going to get. I'll show you what that item looks like. It's super cheap. It's like one Alk. I don't know. I don't think we have an Alk, but if we... Uh, get together our other forms of currency and put it in, uh, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, Piety was even stronger than that one thing where it has that giant like laser beam where I said you have to avoid it because it hits really hard. This guy is easier than her, and this is like the actual like boss. Look at look at like look at that damage. We're not even close to like min maxing either. Once we get Hydrosphere and like the Reflect, it's basically doubling it even more potentially because of the way this works. So the tips of the, I should probably explain this a long time ago to be honest, but our damage is so high, it probably doesn't matter. Um, but the tips of the ice will do more damage. So at the very end of the ice versus the start of the ice, it will do more damage. But because it's just shooting so many out, then it explodes. Uh, I haven't been really trying to aim it. So yeah, you'll see it does uh, projectiles continuously gain damage, uh, up to 200% damage by the time they dissipate. Which I think slower projectiles would be in your benefit. Okay, now we go over here. And he's gonna have three, um, like, I don't know what to call them, uh, hatcheries over here. 
Watch out for when he tries to shoot his tentacles at you. That will do massive amounts of damage, and it does it very fast. A lot of enemies in PoE, your goal is to stand behind them. So now we're going to have to destroy the egg. Oh, we just killed it in two hits. That's insane. <laughs> Doing his little tentacle attack, get behind him. Hello, Riv, how you doing, mate? I right, got that one done. Yeah, our damage is just amazing. Did you miss everything? No, everything will be uploaded to YouTube. No worries, mate. And our new build is good. The, the new skill feels good. I'm really excited about this league now. But I'm gonna try out all the new skills. There's a a helix skill that we haven't got to try yet. I don't know when we get that. We might have been able to get it already. Ooh, he dropped a, 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 a link too? Ooh, nice. All right, let's see what the item is. What is it, what is it? It's Fairgrave's Tricorn. Uh, so this is actually a really nice item for specifically uh, the ranger, and that's the thing that I want to build next, so that's awesome. Um, next up we have these boots. These are going to grant us, um, eh, there's no point of this because it's not going to beat that movement speed of those. And eh, what's this? Doesn't really matter. Uh, level 39, yeah, probably not going to use it anyways. I always look out for gear that I can give uh, to you guys in the chat as well, or like friends. We have like a, a guild remembered. stash, and pretty much anyone can access it. Like you can take whatever you want out of it. See, ya. it's just used for like leveling. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this though uh, for myself because I do want to make another build. In fact, I kind of want to make a. Uh, well, if I make like a build guide, because I kind of want to. So I I actually enjoy making build guides and going through the campaign more than I actually do uh, just playing the end game. But we'll go talk to all of these guys. Um, if you, I'll show off the Nico Mine Encampment because I want to also do the Trial of Ascendancy in this one. I'm going to have to like buy items and sometimes Bullshit. it takes a while. So now we'll talk to uh, Dahlia, we'll get our first golem and that's going to be really good. Go where you oh, are needed. almost clicked on it. So Hydrosphere is excellent. This is going to be where we get to basically almost double, at least double our damage even going further. So what this does, you throw an orb down and how it works is... Um, we're going to place this orb behind the boss. We're going to shoot our other orbs to go through the boss with a piercing that will actually have the um, projectile come back towards us and like, essentially doubling our DPS. It's huge, but I want a golem right now. So which golem do I want? I love the faster cast speed, um, but I'm going to, ooh, um, I, I might just get the chaos golem because my damage is insane right now. And I really, uh, I did that with a stone golem. I, I need I need a defensive one right now, um, but I, I'm gonna buy the other golems anyways. Okay, so we have another uh, gem to get. Oh, spell echo! This is awesome. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe try out spell echo. Um, what else can we get? So I'm going to get spell echo, and I'll show you guys what this does. So now we can get to the next act. But remember, I want to do the trial of ascendancy, and I want to cover it in this part. So we go to act three. We'll get the waypoint real quick. And we will go to the Ascendancy Plaque. And now it'll open up. We're going to go inside. It's kind of weird. This is also another thing where, like, how would you know to go into here and, and click on this little statue in the town? Again, that's why Path of Exiles, I mentioned it, is a hard game. So well, I have the waypoint now. And I'm going to do this, but I do need to do something now. I'm always going to sell these items because I don't need them. But I need to get either a granite flask or something that's going to give us massive amounts of armor because I need damage reduction. In fact, it does... I don't know if they've changed this. Let me actually double check on this. Because they give you like a kind of a recommended level requirement and I've done this before like super under leveled. So this is 33 and we're 41. So we'll be okay. But um, I, it does have a... like uh, There is a threshold at which you're too low of a level to do and it just won't let you do it. I don't really know that number off the top of my head because it's. I think it's changed. But it does have like a level requirement. I think it's okay. just it's just recommended 33, I think is what it is. 
Be careful. But you can definitely do them way under. I've done, I've done them way under the number that it said it, uh, it required. At least a long time ago. I don't know if things have changed. But um, let me show you guys what Spell Echo does, and I'll show you guys. Well, summon Stolen Golem is easy to show you. You literally just summon it. Uh, but we need to get something with massive amount of armor. Otherwise, we can maybe die in one hit. Uh, yeah, I, I sh Okay, so there's two options. You can get a Granite Flask, which means... So you have to know when the boss is attacking. Which I could do it, because I know how the boss works. You can try to do it, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. But, like, it's so fast, honestly, that you'll just melt. And I want to give you guys the best experience possible, and that is... Get the get an armor that has the highest number. So let's get rid of summon skeletons here. Let's throw in. Um, I definitely want frostbite. Um, Zilla tree we actually do need as well. I need do want flame dash. Frost bomb I want as well. Uh, I want like all of these. All right. So I want summon reaper too. Summon skeletons we can do without. Oh wait, this is um. Yeah, frostbite is uh, the thing where they're gonna take more damage. So I don't need, I don't have to have minion life. I want to show off spell echo. So I need three blues, which, uh, you know, honestly, it's not gonna be that easy to get three blues. Nomics, I could probably squeeze. I don't need, uh, Arctic armor would actually help as well. I'm going to do something that's going to increase the uh, potential that we get. I'm gonna kind of waste these. I mean, this isn't a really good item. I'm gonna try to get three, just three sockets. There we go. Now I'm gonna try to convert this to have just two blue. Oh, oh, well, that's it. We didn't get it. Um, and that happens, man. That's that's part of the game. So unlucky. I want to swap out. Mm, I need, okay, I don't need minion life. I just, I do want Zilatri for sure as it increases our DPS. I wanted Frostbite. I wanted all of these. Uh, but what I want to do is try to get a armor and I'm going to go to the poe.trade website. We are level 41. I'm going to put in all these stats so you guys can see. So let me capture the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to body armor. Oh wait, I don't know how much money we have. I need to check how much actual money we have. Cause if I don't even have like, I don't even have any money. <laughs> okay, well I got unlucky. I don't have any money. Um, maybe maybe the silver coins, hold on. Let me, let me, don't sign me out yet. Let me, let me get, let me check the silver coins. Uh, so silver coins to, I doubt it. At one point it was at like, seven or eight to one, but I doubt it's gonna be like that. Oh, wow, it is perfect. Oh, yes. There we go, so we go to this guy, grab our silver coins, and we just wait for him to respond. And uh, if he doesn't respond, this is why I do a lot of these off. Okay, perfect. I, I do a lot of these trades off stream. Well, not off stream, but like, I, I actually, off recording on YouTube, but you can see all of it 100% legit over on stream, um, over on twitch.tv slash Sladra, which is the same as my username. Um, you guys can see all of this, so it's not like edited or anything. Uh, it's just sometimes I trade off of our YouTube playthrough because I need like five or six items, and each one of these items will take like five minutes sometimes because people just don't respond. We got lucky the first two trades are making it look easy, but I swear people just do not respond for whatever reason. So what we want, if I can get a five link body armor, okay, what are our stats here? Five link body armor, we're level 41, so max level 41. It's probably gonna be a corrupted armor, but 41, uh, I want, I need at least two blue, right? What do I have? I want, actually, I have winter. I can do a lot of different things. Uh, probably at least two blue, okay? Just five links, two blue, max level 41 one chaos orb let's see if we can get it sometimes you can get lucky okay unlucky let's check out how much these are actually costing if if we can even get one four chaos orbs okay that's a little bit like i would consider pricey but like day one prices are kind of inflated i'm gonna be honest so don't worry about it too much if i can get i don't even if i can't get a four uh, or a five link then i really don't care too much about it I want just it to have two blue. It doesn't even have to be linked. I just want two blue. This will actually be pretty easy to get, I would say. So I just need two blue. And uh, I'm going to hit one chaos orb. Hit search. And I want the one that has the highest armor. Here we go. There's one chaos orb. This one's... Oh, I have to put... Oh, ice tomb is there. 
Um, let's go to identified, hit yes. Ice Tomb's a nice little item. Um, I mean, ideally, I could just, I'd pay less um, than a, a Chaos Orb. Uh, what does Ice Tomb do again? It doesn't give us extra, oh, increased chill duration on enemies, and we cannot be chilled. But it grants us like 600 armor. It's actually gonna be quite nice. If there's a four, uh, I mean, honestly, this will make the game really, real smooth sailing for us. So I think I'm gonna pick up Ice Tomb. It, can I get it for like, um, let me type in Ice Tomb. Is it one word? Ice Tomb. All right, it's gonna give us massive uh, resistance too. This one also grants us life, which is nice, but I'm gonna go to the price. Is the cheapest one one? The cheapest one is one. Let me take out this. If I can buy it for like a an Alk, I'd rather just buy it for an Alk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down into Orbs of Alchemy. So I'm gonna go back to the trade website because since there's several listed for like one or two Alks, I'm gonna be smart about this. We're gonna go to the currency market, say, hey, I want Orb of Alchemy. I have Chaos Orb and I'll probably get like anywhere from three to four. That's my guess. Oh, I get five. Okay, that's even better. Uh, so prices fluctuate, keep that in mind. Um, Perfect. So I get five, five like little small items. Um, like I said, a lot of times, oh, I swear this is insane luck. Okay, like it, it, the reason why I trade a lot of times off of our YouTube play session is because literally people do not respond. And like every single time it's like, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Make sure you're not getting scammed. Uh, whisper him, tell him thank you, sir. And we are out. This guy's got a cool hideout. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like a Warhammer uh, vibes. But let's go back into town. Let's go now pick up our ice tomb. So what I want to have is just, can I get two blues? It's just not even, oh, two blues equals, it costs a lot more. I don't even have chromatics to change it. All right, well, that's okay. Uh, I want at least one blue. So let's put in one blue. Alchemy, put in two orbs of alchemy for a like max prize. Hit that search, at least one blue. And get the one that has the highest number on armor. So that's all I really care about, to be honest. All right, there we go. Um, and bam, and this will give us extra strength so we can probably take this gem and put it right back in. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, what, what, okay, dude, this is, it, this is insane luck that people are responding this fast. And I, I don't know what else to say other than I swear it's luck. It is 100%. We're just getting lucky with this. It's awesome. And I'm not going to complain. But yeah, watch our armor. It's going to go up like crazy high. I assume. Thank you. Oh, dang. Because sometimes people like have these macros where like it just automatically trades and it does everything for them, which is nice. I love it. Uh, all the trades just snappy instant. I love it. Um, all right. So... We're gonna have to drop Zealot Tree or something else. I don't really want to drop anything, <laughs> but we have to. This boss is not not friendly. Um, I'm gonna keep Zealot Tree on because this I actually have to cast. You know, um, Frost Bomb takes a little bit to, to activate, so I'm gonna use Frostbite because I feel like it's just it, it it feels snappier. So I'm gonna keep that one. I still will use Frost Bomb, but, but for this boss fight in particular, I need it. So now we have armor is 120, we have 8% physical damage reduction, and now we have 34, and that's going to help out so much. And also our energy shield goes up like 102. Uh, massive cold resistance, not that we needed cold resistance. We have 185 because of this as well, but it's nice. It's nice. But we, we could go back to this armor. I'm probably not going to, to be honest. Uh, I want the Reaper though. I, I want him. I want him in here. As he'll kind of help out a little bit. And we are set up to go do the trial. And now that I have more strength, I can throw in the other steel skin that is a higher level right back in. And if I replace it, oh, okay, it's perfect. Um, is there anything else I want to cast here? I don't really care about Arctic armor. Oh, we need our Stone Golem. So I'm not sure how the Reaper is going to act with the Stone Golem, as I know that they're supposed to conflict with each other because the. The new Reaper is supposed to be like the only minion. I don't really know how it's gonna work. He's supposed to, I think, eat the other minions too. Let's see how he works. If I click on him, will he eat the other minion? Not before. Will he consume it? Or damage it? 
Hmm. I'm not sure. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the lab. You click on it. Don't worry, it doesn't cost anything. The last one will cost, and it's not easy. The first three obviously it gets harder and harder, but it's basically the trial. Are you good enough at the game? And uh, it's cool, and it's okay if you die. Dude, uh, the first like five or six times that I did this, I failed again and again, and I felt so bad because my friend was like walking me through it. <clears throat> it happens, man. So there is a website, you can Google it, Pee Wee Lab and it'll show you the pattern for the lab on the day, but I'd recommend you guys to try it out without doing that. The reason why is because it's gonna build up your actual skill in the game to not get hit by the traps. Because the traps are what's gonna kill you in this most of the time. Oh, okay, grab that. Oh, you linked it? Well, thank you, Riv, although I'd have to link it on YouTube, but yeah. But I recommend you guys to just like learn the mechanics, and I'll, I'll I'll also tell you guys the mechanics. Cause this is a form of end game content. Like there are people that farm the lab. The reason why is you have a special enchantment, and I will also show you guys um, what it can do. We're already on the trial, so yeah. Oh wait, we didn't even cast uh, this. Oh, what the, where's our golem? Did he already die? So what the golem does, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this, um, it grants us 42 life regen per second. And it's gonna, that 42 is gonna be increased an insane amount. And then we can actually start scaling the golem too. So with that slam, I mean, there's a, there's a sound that comes up, always move against this guy. He is not easy. That's The slam is very telegraphed, though. Especially since he's chilled, and we have that increased chill effect. Because this build, any, any build that uses anything that will chill the enemy or freeze the enemy, it's a lot more generous. So in order to check the map, because there is no, like, map that you can check in here, you can't, like... You, you use this kind of as a reference. So if I want to progress, this little face is where you fight the boss. You have to fight him three times. This is where you'll uh, see kind of where you need to go. So in this case, it's just kind of to the right. And that's where, where we will go. I don't know if he's eating the... Like, is he eating? He just killed my golem. What the? So I, I don't know if I want to run the Reaper anymore. So does he just kill him? So, or does he kill it once in a while? The Reaper presence weakens and will consume them to empower and heal itself. Oh, it heals itself. So with this build though, I... I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm going to like no, no more, no more Reaper. Sorry, Reaper, but I'm going to put Frost Bomb back on and put the Golem on this. The reason why I don't want the um, the Reaper is because I want the Golem right now. But later, how the the thing works, and I understand how he works now, is. He uses it to heal himself. I thought he would just do it to get like more and more powerful. I don't know. It says that he can empower himself, so I'm guessing he can get stronger. But I don't know like at what point. Like does it have a cooldown? Is there a limit to it? I don't know. It's a new skill that like literally just came out today, so. It, I'm sure the, the, the PoE wiki will have a bunch of info on that. You think new players should use the PoE trade website? I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's 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 a worse interface in my opinion to PoE trade, but uh, it doesn't really matter. There's so many trade websites. Just kind of whatever one you like. That move you gotta dodge, by the way. Like, 100% will want to dodge that one. But like, see how like I can get super close to him and just go behind. Like I've played this game enough, but like he makes that sound where he's like charging up, and now like you can hear it. You'll know what to expect. And by the way, this is important. If you die in here, you have to do the whole thing over again. All the boss fights, all the entire area, is not friendly. 
That's why I was like, I want to get that thing with massive amount of armor. Because it's no fun to do this twice. And But if you have to, it's okay, man. Like I said, the first time I did that, I failed like six plus times. And I felt so bad because my friend was walking me through it too. And I felt like I was wasting his time. Because I would try to run fast and I would get hit by the traps or whatever the case may be. But this, this one over here, this trap, is the fire thing again. And then there's also darts that you have to dodge. And there's also these knives that come down. There's so many traps, but like, you know... You build the muscle memory after a long period of time. Don't worry about the golem if he dies. We've got to resummon him. We can just resummon him and he'll come back. If you get hit by the, these little darts, the, you will slow down. So be careful on that. Look at that thing got frozen. That's why I love cold builds. Like last league I played a fire build. Uh, I was like, dude, I want to go back to cold. Oh, and if you go to a wrong area, which sometimes happens, like right here, um, well, here it won't really matter, because it's still, either way, it's going to lead us to the very final one, but like, if I go back over here, I can go over here to see what that is. I don't know what that is, but it's usually like something to do with like a key. But we will ascend to the Elementalist on this part of our playthrough, and Elementalist is awesome. It is by far my favorite class it was op for like several different patches and i, I will agree it, it, a thousand percent needed a nerf uh it did get a lot of nerfs though and I, i'm talking like 200 plus percent damage nerf um ailment immunity nerf it, i used to be immune to to all cold fire and lightning ailments so like all the negative debuffs that you get it was immune to all of those um, which was really OP. That's like half the reason why I picked it. But then you get a shield. You still get the shield, by the way. That like end game, it gives you two to three thousand extra like life for. Well, basically, it's a shield that absorbs that damage and it replenishes itself every few seconds. It is still half the reason why I play. Like half the reason was ailment immunity because then I didn't need to run a flask that makes me immune to freeze. Because um, now flasks, if you pop them, and then you get frozen you will be frozen but if you're frozen and then you pop the flask it does unfreeze you so yeah it's uh big changes oh we are just melting this guy look at this Woo! pick up the treasure keys oh, we got a colossal life flask. that's a thousand oh uh, you know what we were running the other one because it had bleed immunity if this one gives us bleed immunity then i'd, I'd run it but it doesn't so all right, now it's time. You get to pick up some chests. Which one do you want? It's a surprise. Woo, look at all those items. So we'll pick up the ones that are like green around the text. Um, as that one, these ones we can sell for uh, alts, shards. So now trigger word of light when we take a critical strike. Is this one good? Not really, to be honest. It's going to make the level requirement of these gloves go up, but I'm going to show you guys what this font does. So I put the gloves in here. And we click on it and we hit enchant. And now we got a new special ability on our gloves. When we take a critical strike, it will use uh, Word of Light. What does Word of Light do? Well, you gotta go to the wiki to look it up. So I'm gonna type it in Word of Light PoE and it'll bring me to the Path of Exile website. And what the heck, it looks really weird. Okay, they might've did some weird update because the new patch came out today, but like normally the site doesn't look this weird. But um, what it does, it's got a cooldown of five seconds and it deals a portion of your main hand damage in an area around you and creates consecrated ground, causing you and your allies to regenerate life. Hey, that's a pretty good effect. So that's how you find out what these do. It's random on what you get, by the way. Um, but it will increase the level requirement of the item if it's an item that like, is like a lower level item. But that's what you do. You can, um, yeah. Oh, if you want to bring an item in here to do it, you don't need to. I think before you needed to like a long, long time ago. But now if you want to like access your stash and... Um, you cannot save that ability, though. It's like a one-time. You do it or you don't. And then, this is what's most important, the Altar of Ascendancy. So which one do we want to become? Elementalist, like 100%. We don't even need to think twice. It is still one of my favorites. However, with Occultist, there is a pretty nice change if you want to do some boss battles. Um, there, There is a, a negative uh, cold resistance, which we could benefit off of, and enemies... Uh, 
have 100% reduced life regeneration rate, so they can't really be healed. It's for Maven of Fights. In particular, it's something we'll talk about a lot later down the line. That's actually a really nice thing to have if you want to do it, but other than that, I really don't care too much about like this entire tree. Uh, applying double curses is really good because you can only apply one. You used to be able to have like just on the tree, you could just get another curse, but like you can't do that anymore. That the Things have been changed. Necromancers, if you want to summon minions. If you want to make a minion build, feel free to do so, although this playthrough is not like doing that at all. <laughs> But next up with Elementalist is what we are going to be selecting. And what are we getting first? We're getting the Liege of Primordial. So it grants us 100% increased buff uh, by our golems. Summoned golems are resummoned after being killed. So this is why I didn't understand if it were, would work with the Reaper or not. And and you can refund your points, although it costs five per to do these. So um, and if you want to swap Ascendancy, yes, you will have to actually do this thing again. You can technically do it, though. But... Yeah, we're going to get this one over here. So this grants us extra elemental resistance. And then this is the shield that I was talking about. So you get 75% extra elemental damage uh, reduction. Or it just, that's like an extra shield. Um, we'll get this on a third one. I usually just get Legion of the Primordial and Elemental ASAP. And then we start getting a lot of golems. Right now we only have our uh, stone golem. Remember how it was 42 life regen, right? Um, oh, you know what? It's only going to show up, I think, in here. Oh, you know what? It's okay. So let me do it this way. So our golem, I think it's a red one. Okay. So if we go to defense, we go to life or generated per second. We have eight. We do this. And even though it says it's 42, we have 92. Remember it's hundred percent effectiveness, which comes down to double. Absolutely huge upgrade. And I love it. And, um, now we can continue, get to the next, we're going to get to the next, uh, what is it, where, man, we can, can make this video a little bit longer. Um, we're going to get to the next act, but I also want to see if I can yes. buy the other golems here. Hopefully I can. Yes. Okay, so what I want to get is, um, the ice golem will increase our crit strike chance, but that's fine. We don't really need that right now. Um, the flame golem will be extra damage. The one that I want the most is the lightning, because that's increased attack and cast speed. Uh, but I also want the Flame Golem. Uh, right now, I have... Uh, I can summon... Currently, we have... I actually don't want to get this first. Uh, uh, since I already kind of path towards it, we're going to get these three points over here. So this makes... So we get more increased effect. We have increased Golem life, but then eh, it's like whatever. And then we have another 20%, so it's 40%. And then increased damage while you have a summon Golem. And 30% increased effect of uh, buffs granted by your Golems. So we have another... 70% increased golem like um like stat pool um from the golem so and then we're gonna get even more so we're gonna get more than 200% real fast and easy it used to be even better though um because we actually got 20% uh 20 20 or 25% increased damage per golem that we had and it just got it was awesome but it was a little bit OP I'll admit but uh yeah we're gonna grab these three nodes the most important one is this final one to get plus one maximum number of summon golems right now we can only summon two because we have one from ourselves and another from our tree. This is where the tree is, by the way, if you want to like access it again. It just goes, it, it's like a little hidden thing. But uh, yeah, this is where, where we're gonna be going. We're gonna get, this is one, two, because you get two ascendancy points when you complete it. So it's one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and then uh, seven, eight, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna do sh Shape or Storm. It's kind of up on the, how good the mana is. Probably will end up getting this though, because this grants us good uh, mana. All right, going to the next act, and uh, do we have... I mean, we can do the Flame Golem real easy. There's no thinking twice about that. I do want the Lightning Golem, but I don't have room. Well, we'll worry about that later. Uh, but I, I... Okay, you know what I can do? I can still level up my Lightning Golem, and I can still level up my Reaper by putting it right there, and let's go continue. So, uh, I think... Jasuni opens this up and we gotta get to the next act. So let's get to the next act and that'll be the end of this part of our little play session. So what's really nice with this is that the golems will be resummoned when they die. So the flame golem, you'll see how much damage we get. So it's supposed to do, what is it? 16% increased damage. So our damage goes from, let me activate our buffs too. Because if you unequip the item, which we did when we upgraded the item to get the special like, Ward of Trigger, um, 
it re you have to recast it. So we're at 618 DPS, at least via that number. And now we're at 679. Nice little buff. And again, all these numbers will start adding up. Because remember, the golems will start to level up. And as they level up, you're, you're going to get stronger and stronger. Okay. Let's go detonate the explosive. I just spammed it. Let's go. Oh, wait, we have two of the same golem. You can have multiple of the same golem, but it won't stack the buffs. So do, do not have multiple of the same golem. In the very beginning, actually, I'm gonna like make this so I can't do it on accident, okay. Because now the golems, if when they die, they get resummoned. There is sometimes kind of a like buggy issue where if you have too many copies of the same one, it summons like, the, like a weird one or something. It just, it's a weird interaction. I don't know why it does it, but make sure that you're always having like one of each until you can overlap. Level up. So the next next time we'll be able to get the other golem. And we'll be able to drop this amulet later, so we'll have basically a free amulet slot. This one is just really good for the elemental overload early, early on. Because you can't get like there's no other way to get 30% crit in the game. Uh, with like one item that has like no requirements to actually use. In fact, there's there's no item in the entire game that has like... I think you can get like 100% crit and that's like a, a, probably something you won't be able to even equip. As long as you have about like 10-15% crit, that's about good enough. Let's get to that next area. 65k viewers on Twitch. Oh, nice. Yeah, this game is doing pretty good. Usually Path of Exile is pretty strong for about a week. And then people either get burnt out or the people that are new to the game, they, they can't last. Because they're like, dude, it's too hard. I don't got that Sladra help with the uh, the full campaign walkthrough. But yeah, we're at the Ascent now. We're just going to journey on to the next act. Make sure you pick up that crafting recipe. Those will be like a giant telescope looking thing. I know some people come in all the time. They're like, hey, dude, thank you so much. I've been playing Diablo for years. Because my Diablo videos tend to do a little bit better than PoE, like in terms of view ratio. You know, that Diablo could definitely use more expansion packs. Cause like, I have a lot of videos get like thousands and thousands of views, like 100k plus. And like, Diablo's are definitely an older game and they don't really get that many new things. Like the season does come out, but in terms of like huge new content, um, I would say with Diablo 3, it's relatively minor. But, like, they don't even have a source of revenue generation. So, like, prop, props to Blizzard for, like, still supporting that game. Like, I wish Diablo 3 costed money to play in the season so they could, like, actually make new content. I would not mind at all paying for that. I'm going to see if I can get three of these in one. Yeah, I got all three of those in one. Nice. I, I can't move. Got stuck. Uh, that was that was maybe where that ping spiked up. I don't even know why I'm leveling up Arctic Armor anymore at this point. Like the only reason why is the very first one. I can let me just drop this gem. I don't need it. Um, just so it's like out of the way. But like you can still use that gem if you want to during that boss fight when you do the like second and third ones. He like I said he hits really hard for physical damage, so it's not a bad idea. But like you probably would want to have Zealot Tree, but that's for more damage. And like we melted him really fast anyways. Our damage is perfectly fine. But once we get uh, 52, uh, our damage is mm, about, what is this hit for? What's the actual number on this? It's gonna be at least double. Um, where's the where's the Eye of Winter? Oh yeah, it, it's at least, uh, we're gonna get to basically double our damage. And then we get to quad, well, it's double, and then we get to double whatever damage we do again when we get the um the hydrosphere combo um i actually don't i didn't plan this ahead of time i didn't see if there's any new items that came out like within i don't know it's been it's been about 10 hours now since the game has launched so some of the new items may have been revealed already like people got them because what's cool with path of exile they don't tell you what's in the newest like patch in terms of the new items 
you kind of just got to play and hope, you know, you get them. And then you could be the first person to show off the new item on Reddit or whatever. It's awesome. Uh, but I like that the game is free to play. Like, um, well, since we were talking about like uh, like charging for Diablo, because uh, I, I want the game creators to make money to the point where they can actually sufficiently make new content. Path of Exile's microtransactions are insanely expensive. Like, and, and I mean, like, it's like to get to get a skin in this game. If it's not on sale, it's like almost fifty dollars for a lot of the skins. I think fifty dollars is a little bit. Way too high, in my personal opinion, for a skin. I think the skin should be ten dollars. Oh, Immortal Call, that's a cool skill to use. Twenty dollars. I mean, for me, I think ten dollars is way better. The re here, here's why: if I spend ten dollars on a skin, I'm definitely going to be spending ten dollars. Well, like I can spend another ten dollars on a newer skin. I'm like, oh, this skin's cool. Like this skin that I have right now. It was like it was like over fifty dollars for the helmet and just the chest, and like for me, like this was my favorite looking one. But like, there's a other there's a few other skins that I see. Like there's a demon fire, like a fire demon one, and I want to support them, so I end up buying stash tabs. But I'm like, then I wasted fifty dollars on this skin and I'm not even using it. So it's a hard justification for me personally to have the skin set at that price because it's just like it feels bad, like. I just feel like it's a little bit too much. But I know that some people like it when the skins are super rare or expensive in games and you know they want to show it off and look cool. But I buy a lot of stash tabs. I almost buy a stash tab or two every single league because I'm too lazy to to, to actually sort my items. Instead of sorting my items and going through them and selling them, I'm like just buy more just buy more inventory space, you know? That's my strategy. So what we're looking for by the way when we're in these slave pen areas, we're looking for a boss I think he's over here. Oh, you know what? He's probably this way. But I'm sure you notice ever since we got that armor, our the damage we're taking, phenomenally, like just significantly lowered, right? Is this the boss? He didn't even get to finish doing his animation. He was in the middle of trying to like show me his like spell and he just melted. So our damage is really good now. And once we hit 52, we're doubling it. And then we need one pierce, and I hope I don't have to go over here to get it. Uh, if I can spell pierce, I can't spell it. It's it's somewhere around here though, I know that, because I play this game too much. Um, is it projectiles pierce? Okay, you only want one pierce. I'm gonna see if I can find projectiles pierce somewhere else, um, and then you get a, an anoint of this other thing, and it makes it so projectiles come back on the very last pierce, and you throw hydrosphere, and it's like the most OP thing ever. Um, it'll probably get patched, but uh, hopefully not by the time I get to actually play with it. <laughs> so uh, here is okay, perfect. We can get the lightning and fire resistance one. Let's see if it's any good Remember, though. All right. We do this for freedom. We got extra forty life. That's great. Increased rarity, whatever. Uh, extra strength is good. Oh, isn't this what I needed? So let's see our defense. So we have a little bit more, uh, more lightning resistance, more life. Uh, we lose out on all attributes, but that's okay. Lightning damage, whatever. Four to life. This one has way better life anyways. So uh, there was a difference in life. Yeah, another like 50 life. Keep in mind when you have like plus, let's say this one grows us 40 to life. It's actually way more than 40 because you know, I have all the like the plus increased life. All right, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up things for this part of our playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on your way out, and I'll catch you guys in the next part of our playthrough, and we'll be continuing on, and we're going to be doing at five. We're basically halfway done, guys. You've made it this far. You've made it pretty far. There's actually, like, if you go to the Steam Achievements, let me see if I have still some of that. Okay, let me show you guys. There is not that many people that actually complete Path of Exile. Like, I don't know why this says today, but this is defeating basically, like, one of the bosses in the game. He's... His name is Cyrus or Cyrus. 0.1% of players have this achievement. 
So not that many people can make it all the way to the end of the game. And so if you made it this far, you're halfway there. I promise you guys this is an awesome game. I'm not sponsored or anything. I legitimately like this game and it's so hard. And I wish people just stuck it out and like learned the game because there's so many things to do, but it's because the game is very hard. People look at that skill tree and they're like, nope, right out of there. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one and I'm out. Peace.